Hi YouTube, this is JJ714 coming back at you. I wanted to do another quick video just to explain because I know some of you may be still new to making rose water if you haven't seen the nieces or some other person who's done rose water similar to this. So I just wanted to explain so that it wouldn't seem so difficult. But the purpose of the ice and what I'm going to do is take my camera. <laughs> Apologize in advance. Um, forgive me. I know it's now this is um the pot and I have ice sitting on top. You put the lid upside down, and actually I had to use another lid for uh, to put it because the lid that goes to this particular pan which is a stop pan, is this lid, and if you notice, it's not very flat, so it would have been difficult for the ice to sit on top. But now, what you do after your water boils, when you put your, um, let me move it back, after your water boils, when you put your, um, your petals, your, your bread, your um, distilled water, inside and then you put your bowl that you're going to allow your rose water to melt into in the center on top of the bread. Once the water boils, then you will um, put ice, turn down the, um, turn the temperature down under your pot and you will um, put ice on top and the ice will eventually start melting which you see that it is melting so then you take um, your baser and you basically just start um, getting out the melted ice, which is water. And I'm not sure what my temperature is supposed to be on. I may have put more ice on than I needed to, but I'm just going to turn the temperature back up a little bit more. But um, I just wanted to come back and let you see this and um, I'm not supposed to take the top off because I'm sure it, it's going to mess up if I do but basically what happens is that the ice on top will cause condensation from the heat of the boiling or the warm water, boiling water underneath to um, hit the top of the pot and then the, the condensation which is the, uh, the rose water will go into your bowl that's located inside your pot. So after this ice melts, then you just continue to put more ice on top until your process is finished. Now I'm not really sure how long um, the process takes because I did not notice um, Denise having that information on her um, video and um, I did look in her comment section, but I'm going to say probably about a good 30 minutes, probably no more than 40 minutes because I think more than that would be more than too much. But that's basically, um, I wanted to explain that step just in case anyone says, well, okay, you said everything that we're using, but what do we use the ice for? <laughs> so I just wanted you to know, and then what do you use the baser for? So. Um, I will come back after I finish making the rose water, and then I'll explain everything from the beginning again. Okay? Talk to you later. Bye-bye.